Hello, uh, welcome to Telling the Time Review, The Basics. So you should be familiar with the clock face and the hands of a clock. We're going to focus on the minute hand today, that's the long hand. Um, when our long hand is pointing to the 12, we should know that that is o'clock, meaning no minutes have passed, it's the start of the next hour. We also should know that when the long hand is pointing to the 6, that that means it is half past the hour because the minute hand has moved halfway around the clock to reach the 6. If we think about our clock being divided into two halves, um, divided by the 12 and the 6, a line down the middle, we have two halves of the clock, one being our minutes past side of the clock and the other being the minutes to side of the clock. We're going to focus first on the minutes past. So that's looking at the movement of the minute hand from the 12 to the 6 in a clockwise direction that's coming from our o'clock around to our half past. We're going to focus on the movement of the minute hand just around the four main points of the clock. So we've already covered o'clock and half past. Now we're going to have a look at what happens when we get our minute hand and it moves in a clockwise direction around to the three. Now we can think of this as moving around the clock, around a quarter of the clock. So we've split our clock up in half between the 12 and the 6 and now we draw another line across from the 9 to the 3 and it splits it into quarters, our four equal parts. It's moved one quarter of the clock and it's on the past side of our clock. So when the minute hand is pointing to the 3, we can now call that quarter past the hour because the minute hand has moved a quarter of the way around the clock. We've already talked about half past and we can see there by the highlighting our minute hand has moved halfway around the clock. That's why we call it half past. Now we're focusing on the minutes to side of our clock. You can see here that we have our minute hand pointing to the nine. We need to think about how far our minute hand has to go till it gets to the next hour. And we can see that it's going to move around in its clockwise direction to the 12. And we can see by dividing our clock again into quarters that from the 9 to the 12 is one quarter of a movement around the clock. And so when the minute hand is pointed to the 9, we call that quarter to the hour. Now for all these four points of our clock, we can also refer to them in terms of the number of minutes and we're going to look at that in our next video.